Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be kind of reacting to Hailey Bieber's bags. A lot of the bags that she has in the photos that I'm going to show you are kind of the trendy bags and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I got this idea, well one, a lot of you guys really enjoyed my Lisa from Blackpink bag reacting video and I do need to do a rosy one as well. What made me think about this topic really is because recently there's been this huge Instagram feud drama between Selena Gomez fans and Hailey Bieber and they're like sending Hailey Bieber death threats and just recently like a couple days ago they reconciled I don't know if reconciled is the right word but basically they each posted on each other's stories that they've talked about it and they're just kind of done with the hate so in accordance to that women supporting women I thought I feel like a lot of people have branded Hailey Bieber as like this mean girl aesthetic and obviously I don't know her in person I don't hate Hailey Bieber I think she's so gorgeous so yeah anyways without further ado let's get into it so how i'm gonna do this is gonna be kind of from my least favorite to my favorites of the bags that she has it's not like a very stiff ranking but you'll see the first bag we're going to be talking can you guys see dior she's right over here <laughs> so the first bag that i'm going to be talking about is the louis vuitton new wave bum bag so this bag is actually discontinued they no longer sell it this came out in 2019 in the summer i think it was actually released maybe april mayish of 2019 but as part of their summer collection just saying this blanket statement right now i am not a fan of the new wave anything i believe they still have a couple new wave pieces on the website but i don't know i personally it just i don't know if tacky is the right word but there's just something about it that i just didn't like about it one thing that i did like about this bag though like the small detail that i did like was the rainbow stitching on the zipper they had like multicolors of this i believe this bag was available and like white and black the new wave collection in general they had like pinks i don't know if they had purples but they did have a little bit of color but the one that hailey bieber has is the black one i feel like this functionality wise is easier to use because it is all leather and then the hardware on this looked from the picture because i never saw this bag in person i think it's kind of like antique gold as opposed to the really shiny hardware the fact that it's all leather i think for the price point is not bad considering the original louis vuitton bum bag that is also discontinued weirdly enough even though bum bags are so popular i find it so crazy that they're just continuing it this bag retailed for 1820 which i don't think is bad because the louis vuitton bum bag is all canvas and i believe that one's actually 1800 as well i found like the exact price or the price that i paid for mine between these two what do you guys like i feel like the monogram bum bag was like the overarching super popular one because on resale like fashion file and stuff because they don't sell it there is a little bit of an upcharge i personally was just not a fan of anything new wavy like any of the pieces i I'm pretty sure, I mean this is just an assumption on my part, but I feel like she was gifted this bag just because I think at one point she was probably a brand ambassador. I don't believe I saw her in any ads, but because she's like a pretty big influencer, I feel like this bag was gifted. Okay, so the next bag that I'm gonna be talking about is the Bottega Veneta pouch bag. I saw so many pictures of her wearing this. There was like the zebra print one, the bright blue one I feel like was really popular, especially I remember Rosie Huntington had the bright blue one. But anyways, uh, I believe she has this in like orange and purple. Honestly, she styled this bag so, so so well like any photo i saw of her wearing this bag i just loved it so i saw her have the big one a lot she also had this in the chained version as well which is a little bit more expensive i believe the chain version is like 200 dollars more expensive the pouch bag on its own is thirty six hundred dollars which is a good chunk of change but the bag is pretty big and it is all leather and it actually has a good weight to it i don't think it's that heavy either i'm sure with the chain there's a lot more weight but it's just very like the bottega veneta pouch bag really embodies like that simple aesthetic like anything that's from the row i feel like the pouch would just just go so well with that she also was seen wearing the mini pouch with the strap which i think a lot of people like i know in the luxury community i think Isabella style has the little pouch bag but a lot of people really like the little one I think Mel and Melbourne has a little pouch one too I'm not 100% sure that everyone just says it's like super easy to use like really light great for travel just kind of like walking around you know do you guys own the big pouch bag I don't think this bag would ever go out of style it's a very classic Bottega Veneta piece but it's just so hard to use in the sense of imagine running errands and having to like chuck something like under your armpit and hold it like that aesthetic wise I really really like it and I kind of understand I mean 3600 kind of hurts a bit <laughs> but it is a big bag like i'm sure you can just like chuck whatever you need and it kind of just 
goes with everything especially in the colors does any of you guys own the pouch bag and you're like oh so practical love it to pieces let me know Okay, so the next bag is also from Bottega Veneta. So this kind of goes along the lines of Hailey Bieber is clearly an influencer. Of course, she's a businesswoman as well now. During like the year before the pandemic started, I mean in within the pandemic as well, but I feel like Bottega Veneta was it for like two to two and a half years straight. Everyone wanted the pouch, everyone wanted the Jodi, and everyone wanted the cassette. When I see a lot of newer people's luxury collections that just started collecting recently, at least a couple years ago, a lot a lot of people had like multiple jodies which was wild because it was so expensive and it was so small but anyways so she had the patty cassette i see her most wearing the black one i think the black one is super easy to use it has a gold hardware you can like dress it up dress it down very low key so i actually love the black one on her one of my favorites is when she styled the green patty cassette and she wore the same corresponding green parakeet color in the vest i just i thought that just oh it looks so so good i mean if i wore that i definitely couldn't rock it the way she does because she has like the model-esque vibe that outfit was awesome okay so the next bag that hailey bieber has i feel like this bag almost broke the internet i feel like this bag was definitely one of the first kind of gifting to influencers and then having it be kind of an overpriced bag and making every everyone want it let me know if there was a bag before this but it's definitely the louis vuitton multi-pochette accessoire in the pink or the khaki color but this bag when it came out it's crazy because i feel like this bag came out first on social media and then it got released in store but when this bag came out every single influencer got gifted this bag and i remember that was one of the things in like any bag forums people were upset saying everyone got gifted this bag and it makes everybody want it but the actual like general public was not able to purchase it people were buying it for resale on like stock x or just any type of resale website brand new for like a thousand dollars over what it was already being sold so the current price of this bag is 2570 so 2570 it's crazy because when this bag first first came out i'm going to try to find the exact price but i think it was around like 18 to 1900 dollars it definitely definitely was less than 2000 and at, even at that time a lot of people were upset at the price range they're like if you break these pochettes into pieces i'm just generalizing here like 1500 dollars like 1300 to 1500 dollars i already thought it was overpriced which is why i ended up getting the prada re-edition so i can kind of have that taste of the utilitarian style and i don't regret getting the Prada bag like I love my Prada re-edition to death but now this bag has definitely grown on me it probably took when this bag first got released I, I wanted to want it but I actually was just like the price really put me off now I actually really like it if it was the same price that it used to be I actually would think about buying it just to add I actually wouldn't use this with the strap I would just love to use it just with the chain and the two big pouches and just like forget about the coin pouch and then the pink strap yeah the price point right now 2500 that's crazy because this is canvas and I feel like they raise the prices just because it's such a popular bag if I were to purchase this bag I think I would get it pre-loved I don't think I could pay 2500 for like an all canvas like little pochette situation no, no no absolutely not like at the very least the prada Safiano re-edition 2005 is all leather and that one is 2300 dollars. so louis vuitton 2500 dollars for all canvas oh no siri bobskis Alrighty, so the next bag is the YSL 5R7 hobo bag. It's basically like a stiff shoulder bag. Um, I think Haley has this in... I think she has this in all colors because she's a YSL brand ambassador as well. I don't think she's a global ambassador, but I think she's a brand ambassador for sure. Because I believe she was seen with the eye care bag as well, but I'm just going to put these ones together. Oh, the 507 is the one that I see her most in. And I know she has it in the white slash cream color. The olive color actually really, really, really like. I tried that one on in person. And then of course the black one is super popular as well. You can always tell like on the shoulder, it has that little buckle piece right there. So it's cool that you can kind of adjusted and there's no really opening to this it's literally just where the logo is and you like slip it out and you put it back up so like where the l is there's like this little loop and you flip it up like that when i did try this bag on i don't know for me it just it it was a lot stiffer than i wanted it to be like aesthetic wise i think it looks really clean the silhouette is super nice very simple like the logo's like pretty small and you can kind of hide the logo if you want 
I know a couple people are thinking of making this like their first luxury purchase. I think the regular size is like $2,400, but they do actually have a smaller size. I did see the mini one in store too, and that one's like tiny, but it is really, really cute. Do you guys own this bag? Do you guys like it? I don't know. For me, $2,400 is kind of expensive because for example, the Celine Ava bag is around what? Like 15 or $1,700. And yeah, that one's canvas, but it does have a leather strap. Like I feel like this should be even 1900 to me is like kind of expensive for this bag but 2400 is like a little bit it's a little bit people that own this bag do you guys have experience like what do you guys think but yes i mean i see hailey bieber use this bag all the time so i'm sure it's her go-to grab and go bag like for a reason um, i think my main concern with this is that it's not very secure because there's no zipper it's literally just that little flap so if hypothetically i was just like tipping over to look at something and my bag was relatively full like something could fall out or if you just completely dump it everything would fall out so okay so the next bags um i'm just gonna kind of group them together so it's we're gonna be talking about prada there's gonna be quite a bit so the first bag i'm gonna be talking about is the prada raffia tote this bag is 2300 i mean this is a fairly large bag a lot of people have issues with paying a lot of money for raffia because they're like this isn't leather why is it over two thousand dollars but this is a big bag and i'm sure the quality of the raffia is not cheap like it's not like a home goods basket in the corner for decoration you know i could totally see this being a really good travel bag beach bag just because it has the holes in it you don't really have to worry about it that much i don't know what this feels like i've, I've never actually touched the raffia totes in person so when i do go to prada i'm definitely gonna just touch it like i genuinely have i don't know what it feels like i don't know if it's scratchy or soft from pictures and videos that i've seen of other people review them they say it's pretty like obviously it's not like lambskin soft but they say it's kind of soft when i see hailey bieber like wear this with like a blazer or just using it for like work meetings or something i think that's really really nice the next bag is the prada re-edition so she has multiple variations of this so she first has the 2005 which we all love and adore the black one super easy to use adore for her road skin beauty launch she was seen wearing the cornflower blue 2005 but obviously she didn't have the big canvas strap she only had it in the chain and i was like ooh, me debating between wisteria and cornflower blue and then i saw that she had the cornflower blue one and i was like you know what the cornflower blue is it because it's leaning towards gray a little bit and you guys know me i really really want to add a gray bag into my collection oh she looks so good because her whole outfit was like that shade of cornflower blue and on top of that too if you guys haven't seen the road beauty aesthetic is that kind of gray blue silver tone that one was just so so nice oh i love the 2005 if you guys don't own the 2005 you really need to get the 2005 it's chef's kiss amazing she also has a couple different colors of the mini 2000 which you guys know i really desperately want one in the fabric strap she has like it in red and you know what's crazy is that i feel like so many people actually have the mini 2000 in red i don't know why but i used to think like hmm should i get the red one instead because it's kind of like a pop of color i used to want like a red chanel bag but now it's like ooh, should i get it in red how many of you guys own it in red i don't know i feel like red is like a very hit or miss and then my favorite prada bag that she has is the mini mini this is not the correct name of this bag but it's like the mini mini yellow prada re-edition it's like it has a long crossbody strap and a little tiny chain i googled prada nano it's not this they did used to sell this i remember exactly when they this used to be on the website kylie jenner bought her daughter like four of these but especially in the yellow you guys know green and yellow is like my like my colors so i just oh i love it i love it so so much and i'm so sad that they don't sell it I, this bag has to be less than a thousand dollars i'm gonna like guesstimate when it, it was retail maybe like seven hundred dollars because it is very very small but it does come with a strap I, they do sell this on resale sites i've seen it's like for six hundred dollars or like seven hundred dollars but i want them to re-release this i definitely think this is like a seasonal thing or maybe it was part of their kids collection i don't know if any of you guys own this like please let me know they have this in blue too like see this size i would totally get like a vibrant color like if they re-release this i would totally buy it if it was less than a thousand i d without a doubt in my mind i would buy it it's it's just too cute not to you know but it definitely doesn't look like it could fit a phone but it's just i feel like it would be so nice in my little trinity 
of like Prada re-editions, you know? And then there are two other Prada bags that I've seen her wear. So she's been seen wearing the Prada bun bag, which I've actually seen quite a few people have. Yeah, I think this is really great, especially like Prada nylon. It's just like really durable, especially in black. I feel like the Prada bun bag would be great as a unisex bag. So like your boyfriend could use it. You know, if you guys are traveling to Europe or Asia or something, you don't have to worry about it getting dirty or like water stained because again, it's black. She's been seen with that. And then she also has this like Prada shoulder bag that I don't know if it's vintage. I don't know if it's from a previous collection, but it's kind of like a square shoulder bag, which is really interesting because a lot of people have shoulder bags that are generally like crescent shaped and round. And this one is square with like this little thin strap and I actually really, really like it. I think it's super cute. It's very similar to like a YSL envelope bag, but kind of flatter. Yeah, so I think those are super, super cute, definitely. Yeah. Alrighty, so my favorite bag that I've seen her wear, which should come as no surprise to any of you guys, is the Celine 16 bag. She definitely does have the small size. I think she got this, got gifted this, I don't know when it first got released. Hailey Bieber wears this really casually, which honestly was one of the few reasons why I ended up getting it as well. Not because of her, but just the idea that I could wear this casually. And I've mentioned this in so many videos, you guys know I'm a casual queen. I do not like wearing things that aren't comfortable. I'm just, I'm that annoying girl that just always wants to wear leggings. I don't care what people say, but that's just me. So seeing her wear this with like Jordans, just really casual clothes, like biker shorts, I just think it's so, so cute. I love that you can dress it up and dress it down. I've told you guys before that I have tried on the small size and I love it to pieces. Like I love it, love it, love it so much. You know what I don't love is that guys, this bag got a price increase. What? So now the small size of the 16 is $43.50. When I re-looked up the price, I was like, what? <laughs> I remember when I tried on both of them and I for, I need, I'm sure I have a screenshot of the exact price, but it was, mm, I think it was like 4,100 or maybe even like 3,800. I'm gonna find the exact price. So that was the old price and now it's 43.50. What? <laughs> That's crazy. I Googled the small one. The small 16 is now $3,700. You know what's crazy is that maybe like five years ago, that was the price of a mini rectangular from Chanel. It was like $3,600 from Chanel, okay? And now a Celine mini bag is $3,700. The times we are living in, guys, is wild out here. Still, I do love, love the, this bag. Um, a lot of you guys have asked me how do i like the mini if we're not talking about price point which one would i recommend to you i actually would recommend the smaller size i just i feel like you can fit way more it's still small enough that it doesn't kind of like eat you up when you wear it the handle is a lot bigger it's a lot more comfortable but that price point though that's crazy 43.50 that's wild but i think that Haley looks so good. She looks so good when she wears this bag. It's just so cute. All right, you guys, so we have come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining. Get a lot of my ideas and styling and just like me reaffirming my loves for bags when I see people that I really like or people that I find really attractive wear a bag and I'm like, huh, that makes it look really, really good. Obviously, Hailey Bieber is such like an editorial, like fashion-y person and she gives me a lot of inspiration to be honest. Let me know in the comments if there was a bag that you bought because of her. If there's another celebrity that gives you a lot of inspo, I would love to Google it and like be inspired as well because you guys know me, I'm just a ride or die Lisa, but I really, really like Hailey Bieber's style. I've seen on some forums a lot of people don't like her style and I'm like, that's why like fashion is very subjective. But yes, as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh my god, I'm still holding my pen. Oops. <laughs>